Hi, so in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about Halloween and the Switch or Nintendo Switch shop and Nintendo Switch console. And oddly enough today, as you can see, it's not exactly very clear or bright out, it's a bit wintry. Um, and that's sort of the thing with Halloween, I think Halloween was quite mild and quite nice actually for a change. To me, since the pandemic, Halloween doesn't seem so busy. Uh, definitely doesn't. It, it's, there was a lot of people doing it before the pandemic. You go down roads and loads and loads of roads had loads of houses doing Halloween stuff. Now, the same roads after the pandemic don't seem to have as much. There's still a bit in the shops. It's, it's not as big again as it was in the shops. If you look at some of my videos, previous Halloween videos that I've done, there was a lot going on in the shops and it just doesn't seem to be that much effort now. Did you shit yourself? I did not. You did, you jumped, I didn't jump as much as you did. Having said that, people who do Halloween displays really do properly go out for it. There are some people that just absolutely kill it and they're brilliant. They're absolutely fantastic houses where they've really, really gone over the top as it were, but absolutely brilliant. You know, you couldn't fault them. They're like bloody theme park displays. Some of them, they're really, really good. So it's nice to see those people making the effort and there's still lots of kids and people around doing trick or treat. <laughs> Now, my own personal Halloween was a bit weird. Um, I had some stuff going on in the garden, front garden's been having some work done. So whilst that was going on, I heard a cat one night. Um, outside there was a cat fighting, so that's not a problem. The next night, similar sort of cat fighting noise. Halloween night, I heard a very loud cat sound, like a very loud, sort of like a tomcat meow. Of course, these cats fighting outside, so I had a look, couldn't see anything. And then at one point, it sounded like one of them was sitting right next to me. I heard this meow, and I was like, what the hell? Turned around, nothing there, obviously, but I thought, oh, like a ghost cat. But it frightened the life out of me because it was Halloween. Following night, watching the TV, again, sounds like a cat sound outside. When I look, nothing. And then another cat sound, no, nothing, maybe there's a cat outside. Waited, about two hours later, midnight, heard another cat sound. I thought, this can't be right, it's not outside, I can't see it. Looked outside, it wasn't there. I then heard it in the kitchen and then in the kitchen there's like down the step there's like a little vent and I'm thinking there's definitely a sound of a cat somewhere. So I said hello to the vent and the vent replied with a meow. I'm like, That's definitely a real cat <laughs> and strangely enough there was a cat under the floorboards. Now there is a vent hatch in the cupboard so I got a couple of the floorboards up and there was his face of this cat staring at me. Now as it turned out the cat was actually next door's cat and it had, somehow it's an indoor cat so somehow it got through a floor in their house and got through underneath the floor to my house. And the reason it had done it is because they'd been away, they were on holiday. So unfortunately the cat was probably there for about three days. From the Tuesday, I think, to the Friday night, it had been under the floorboards all the time, but I just hadn't noticed because it didn't sound like it was indoors. It only meowed a little bit, very quiet. It wasn't doing it all day long and all night long. It was just a couple of times in the evening. And uh, yeah, so got it out, got it some food, contacted the neighbors who were in France and said that your cat's in my house. And we kept it for a couple of days to feed it over fireworks night as well because it was also fireworks on the Saturday which would have scared it anyway so we looked after it and, and gave it back on to Sunday but it was a little bit scary on Halloween itself. So okay how does the switch come into this? The switch sort of Halloween-y type thing comes in with the offers that they do and the offers they've done recently. If you have Switch Online or Nintendo Online, you can get game trials and the game trials they tend to do quite often. Basically, you can get a game on a trial for a number of days, so like five days or something. So for the end of October, Nintendo did Minecraft Dungeons as sort of part of their Halloween offer. So you could get Minecraft Dungeons for free for five days. After five days, you had to buy it. So you're not mucking about with a demo version. It is the full version of the game, but only for a few days. The idea being that after you finish the trial, you're gonna go out and buy the game from their online store. The game they were offering was Minecraft Dungeons, the basic version. You buy that on their store and I think they're charging £16.74, something like 16 17 quid for it. Which is all well and good, it was nice to play. It didn't include any of the downloads or other packs. 
And the Dungeons game is available in three editions. You can get normal Minecraft Dungeons, Minecraft Dungeons Hero Edition, and Minecraft Dungeons Ultimate Pack. So obviously they give you the basic version. The reason being is that then once they've given you the basic version, you buy it off of their store, and then they want you to buy all the downloads that go with it. Now the downloads, <laughs> funnily enough, have suddenly started appearing in all these tournaments. So after the trial period is finished, and then on the Nintendo news that you get daily, there's now loads of challenges to do on Minecraft Dungeons, and all of them are including the DLCs, which you have to buy. So basically, they're asking you to buy the £5 packs of about, I think they're six or seven packs, £5 each. So it's a little bit cheeky, shall we say. Obviously, I got it to try it, and the kids love playing it. It's a great game. It's a Microsoft Studios game. And I thought, well, actually, it's easier. It's nice of them to do the trial offer, nice of them to give us the opportunity to play it. But actually, I'm going to look for it on the Xbox and see what it comes out on the Xbox at. Basically, I've ended up with the full edition of Minecraft Dungeons Ultimate, all the DLCs, so I don't have to pay for any extras at all. For the same price, roughly, it would have cost to have bought it from Nintendo without any of the extras or the download packs. No brainer, really, isn't it? This also did encourage me, though, slightly to upgrade my Xbox controller. My Xbox has only had one controller since I got it. The controller I bought was second-hand to get the Xbox working, because if you looked at the video, it wasn't working when I first got it. So I went out and bought myself a first brand-new controller, so I can use my Xbox with a decent controller, and if anyone ever decides to come and see me, or any friends, or whatever, or I get a girlfriend, or whatever, I have another controller to be able to play the Xbox with. But I did end up with a bright green electric Volt controller. It's awesome. I love it. It actually matches my Beats headphones, which currently don't work and need fixing because <laughs> they snapped. But it's a brilliant controller. I love the colour. It's really bright. And yes, very comfortable, very nice. A big difference from my bright Switch controller. Now, I didn't leave Halloween out of the Switch. Other than getting Minecraft Dungeons, I also played Animal Crossing, as I do always, which has a Halloween event. And I sort of juiced up my little house with a few Halloween things and even painted my character's face white. Just to give him that little Halloween vibe, as it were. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching and see you soon.